My car is currently trying to make me more cultured by defaulting to playing classical music. Not sure it's working. Let's have a look we don't at. Classical music. Yes, we do. <laughs> oh, Little Mix. What? Fantastic. This is why sometimes it can be a little difficult to incorporate Soph into my vlog. She's quite busy, to say the least. Sorry. So we are currently going to go and check out the Hyundai Ionic. I don't know if the range is going to be enough, but we're going to give it a sort of a preliminary test to decide, well, actually it's not my decision at all. It's whether you like it, isn't it, Soph? Um, yeah, I hope so. Although some very interesting comments um, were left yesterday, which I had a good look through. And some people were saying, hold on to your car for another two years. Long term, that's definitely cheaper. Is it? Because of... Oh yeah, definitely. Because of the mileage you're likely to be doing in the next 12 months, we've got the opportunity to save about £200 a month. So long term it'll be more expensive, but short term it'll be cheaper. Oh god, I was supposed to take my car to the garage. I knew there was something else I needed to do. Whoops. <laughs> See, I would be no good with an electric car. Yeah, well I kind of feel like I've let the side down a little bit today. I completely forgot to charge the car to 90%. So when I woke up, it was still on 70%, which would be fine, except we're driving, was it, 30 miles each way to go do this test drive. And then after we're doing that, I've got to drive so to a meeting that's about 70 miles away, and then it's another 20 miles onto my parents' house. So when you add all this up, I think what it means is we're gonna have to do a bit of an emergency supercharger stop. If we couldn't stop and do that short zap, then we would basically be, we'd be stuck. We'd have to go in Soph's car or she'd miss her meeting. And that's the reason why you can't have a sort of a blanket ban on people using their local superchargers. That's why I think local supercharging is not something that you should do, except in an emergency when it becomes the enabler of a journey, because that's the point of superchargers. They're supposed to enable you to do journeys that otherwise you wouldn't be able to do in an electric car. Finish my coffee quickly. They might give us another coffee, but will the coffee be as good as Mercedes? Now you've got yourself I don't know. Something or Tesla. Couldn't be any worse than Tesla. What are your initial thoughts then? Okay, electric seats, thumbs up. The seats are nice actually, leather. It's very easy to drive actually, it's very light. Hmm. Okay, how fast does this bad boy go? So my bum's warm, that's a good start. Yeah, my, my bum's on fire. Ooh, the corner's a bit bubbly. Bubbly? Bubbly, kind of not, doesn't hold the road like um, my car. <laughs> I know I couldn't stop comparing it. It doesn't really matter where we go, just do a little bit of driving and, and then I'll do a bit of driving, I think, on the way back. It seemed to pick up reasonably quickly, though. Uh, I couldn't get out of trouble in this car. No, it would be more of a don't get into it kind of thing, <laughs> wouldn't it? <laughs> Hang on, that turning circle's terrible. I couldn't even go round a roundabout. It's a front-wheel drive car. Oh, God, my bum is hot. <laughs> So it's not just me then? I just want to drive it really quickly. <laughs> yeah, as you do with everything, and please be careful. Oh, Tesco. No, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try and back into a car parking space now. Woohoo! Now, the other question is, is it easy to open the boot and everything with all your hands full? Well, we can do that when we get back yeah, to the exactly. place, can't we? That was interesting. That wasn't even hard braking. And I felt like the wheels were gonna come off. It's not the most nippy car in the world, but you know, I probably shouldn't drive as quickly as I do, so 
again jeez that's not good that does concern me slightly did it go into abs mode like every 10 seconds yeah as soon as you put even slightly hard braking on yeah gonna swap yep how do you get back to home there we go right sat now free oh, cambridge oh okay that was easy starting route guidance it's got a funny sort of bar across the middle of the rear window hasn't it we've done i don't know how many miles and it's used up eight miles on the thing so it feels like we've done about seven eight miles with soap driving it's a miracle we've not run out of power quite honestly i just realized why when you took your foot off the the car it sort of it rolled it's it didn't feel like you put that handbrake on i've always wondered that though i mean if you're going to have a, a switch for the handbrake why not just have it automatic? You know, you go into park, you want the handbrake on. Could be worse. Could be the, um, the Zoe. That was the really super low spec one, okay, honestly. Yeah. Actually, the, the top spec Zoe could be better than this. To be honest, this is the apparently top spec. I don't think it's the best sound I've ever heard. I've well, got to say. Well, it's not. Obviously, it's not at all. Yes, the I best know, sound but it, it's heard. not as good as. It's nothing. It's not, even, not anywhere near the Nissan Leaf, for example. Right, let's drive back. Oh, it's quite nice. Nothing wrong with this. Really? That way? But didn't we come that way? Just go. Look, I'm not going to just go. I'm not oh used to the car. I'm God. not used to where the blind just spots go. are. Just go. It just go. Unlike some people. I actually want to drive this car carefully. Oh my god, you're so boring. Come on. I'm not boring, I'm safe. There's a difference. Um. It's got a regen paddly thing, I think. There we go, regen level two, regen level three. Now it drives like an actual car. You know, like a, a, a normal car rather than an old petrol or diesel. I like that you can, you've got flappy paddles that change the level of regen. That's actually really clever because on the motorway, there are times when I prefer not to have loads and loads of regen. I foresee a great future for Hyundai. They can make a, one of these that does 200 miles, you know, any weather range, 150 miles plus. Oh yeah, and it's an affordable car, then absolutely. I think it, it drives quite well. I mean, I haven't put my foot down yet because I haven't had the chance. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. Not to 30. I think the Renault Zoe's quicker. I know the Zoe would be absolutely fine for my needs. It would have to be the quicker charging one, but, and it would have to have good sound. And you prefer the Zoe to this? Yeah. Much more flexibility in terms of the range. So how much more range do you get with the Zoe? In winter, maybe 20% more range, 20, 30%. But in summertime, it's a good, you know, almost 50% more range. That's quite a lot. Yeah. You know, the battery is the engine of an electric vehicle, if you like. It's not the fuel tank, it's the bit that makes it go. You know, you've got a big battery, then putting in a big motor and a big inverter is usually quite a sort of small amount of additional cost. It's one of the reasons why I'm a bit disappointed they didn't take the opportunity to make the Zoe a good deal snappier. Not sure what this is, sort of a hand rest, just in case you wanna change gear from drive to reverse whilst cruising down the motorway. Good arrangement like of buttons. I don't like the buttons on the test, so they're, they're too simple and too difficult and too cheap feeling. Mm. Mm, these are quite good. I like that, heated steering wheels, all that sort of good stuff. Ooh, two high power 12 volt sockets. The range is currently on 55. We left with 67, 68. I think we've done about the number of miles that it's dropped by, so that's sort of, you know, reasonably good, but equally, I'd feel a bit nervous driving it to Scotland. Oh yes, it's got lane keeping assist, it's got blind spot awareness, it's got, I think it's got variable speed cruise control. And what else have we got interior wise? Yeah. Oh, drive mode, what's that do? Sports, oh, normal. eco, oh, normal. We had it in normal. We should have had it in sports. That would have made a difference. It's, oh my god! Spins the wheels. That's terrible. You know what? I think there might be something wrong with these wheels because it ABSs at the drop of a hat. I can't find out how powerful it, it is because whenever I floor it, it almost instantly spins the front I wheels. I certainly don't feel safe to go quickly around corners in this. 
this is the key. I do. I definitely like it. I it, if this had an extra fifty miles of range, I would say this may well be the one. So, the question is, do we want to take it for a twenty-four hour test drive? Hmm. Well, I will leave that up to you. It's interesting that the salesman said he's had lots of interest in this car. I can see why. Yeah, when they get a slightly longer battery, they're going to sell like hotcakes. Can't believe it's actually snowing. Lightly. We need to charge quickly. It's okay because we're now at a supercharger. It's at 40% now and in the next not very long at all, it will be at probably about 65, 70%. Almost ready. My poor car is so dirty. Just quickly pop a few extra miles into the old car. It's an every mile counts kind of situation that's going on at the moment. Where's my phone? Got my phone, excellent scope. We've got Jasper now, so that's one thing ticked off the list. We'll see you in a bit. I hope you've all enjoyed today's blog post. If you have, remember to like it, share it and subscribe if you haven't, and also follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next instalment of my daily vlog. Bye. It's 40 mile an hour zone. Funny, I it's just... a 40 zone. Yeah, but there are no cats. Yeah, but there could be like kids or a sudden roundabout that's coming up. Kids are in Yeah. Well, not the naughty ones. Natural selection. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable.